Welcome back for another video everyone. Today we're going to be opening up one of the deck build boxes that released at the same time as the Japanese Kokoen no Shihaisha set. So in the west this is going to be releasing as Obsidian Flames. There's a lot of cool stuff in here and this was really hard to get. So let's open it up and take a look inside. Everyone, so welcome back for another video. Like I say, we're going to be opening up this deck build box for the Kokoe no Shihaisha set. So like I've already mentioned, this is for the Obsidian Flames set that came out in Japan last week or the week before. I can't actually remember now. It's been a little while. But these are super cool. Basically, these deck build sets, they give you loads of great cards that are typically used in a lot of the elite decks. So you'll probably see a lot of them in the World Tournament in Yokohama this month. But it has a lot of cool cards, so like this very sought after VIP pass, these trekking shoes, some of the Radiant cards over here, Luminion as well, as well as big a big set of 104 energies, some tokens, some cards, a card box storage thing. I mean, there's loads of cool stuff in here. And you can see over here basically what is inside in just a little bit more detail, as well as at the bottom with the entire card list. So there are a lot, a lot of cards. So there is so much stuff in here. But these were very, very hard to get hold of. Basically, to win one of these on the Pokemon Center Online, you had to be extremely lucky to win the lottery. And these were harder to get than the Pikachu deck. So yeah, that's how hard this was to get. Now, unfortunately, we didn't win it. So we actually were able to get this through a card shop lottery. So they also had it too. Basically, you can only get them at what they call Pokemon gyms. So these are like official licensed Pokemon registered stores where you can actually play the tournaments for Pokemon. So we were extraordinarily lucky. Luckily? Lucky. Wow, I can't even make sentences. <laughs> so let's take a look inside and let's open this up. How do we open this up? Oh, okay. It kind of slides out. All right. So if I can... Is that right? Is this how you do it? I think it is. Oh, um, what's... How? 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 Oh my goodness. Wow, that's actually really tightly in there. <laughs> oh. Oh, blimey, that was really hard to get off. So this is the deck box. Well, I say deck box. This is your card storage box. So you can just store a ton of cards in here. It's the perfect size for any card. So for example, with our Belly Bolt Art Rare, this would fit perfectly kind of like height-wise, width-wise, and so on inside. But let's open it up. Where is the opening? There it is. One, two, one, two. Oh my goodness, this is hard. Ah, Charizard. All right, here we go. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. <laughs> Alrighty. So let's start from left and work our way right. So we'll start off with these trainers. Oh, there's packets. Packets. So first off, we have a lot of cool trainers here. Let's open this up and take a look to see what is inside. And yeah, we're going to open all of this up. That's the whole point of these videos. We're not just going to be like, oh, wow, look at that. And then just put it back. Let's take a look. I want to get into the detail of these. Okay. So first off, we have a super rod. Very cool. We have a dark patch, dark patch, a couple of dark patches, trekking shoes. So these are from quite a while back. I think these came out in the Space Juggler set. I actually remember because I got the Ultra Rare. We have a Nest Ball, very cool. Nest Ball. There's also an Ultra Ball. So a couple of Ultra Balls, probably quite a few of these. So you can build up your deck. VIP Pass. Now this battle VIP Pass is damn sought after so many people were looking for this and if you have like the basic card of this from fusion arts in good quality it's selling typically at about a thousand to a thousand five hundred yen so they've added it in here so that more people can actually use them in the game i think that's the only real value for it is people actually play this so there's a couple of these in here there's a history heavy ball there's a rare candy so a couple of those there's a Pokemon transfer, so there should be a couple of these too. There's a level ball. Basically, there's loads of trainers, so you can build any deck that you really want. There's a lost sweeper, so those came out a while back. There's a non-holographic kind of stone, so this came out in V-Star Universe, I believe. There's also the Snow Street. Again, I got the Ultra Rare for this actually in our, one of our unboxings a long time ago. <laughs> we have a Beach Court, again, very sought after. So yeah, that came out recently. We also have one of the <clears throat> one of the main towns from the Scarlet and Violet games. It was the uh, grass type town. There's a magma arena, so there's a couple of stadium cards. So stadium up there, and then we have lightning energies followed by psychic energies followed by nothing. <laughs> so that is one of these little deck kind of side parts. 
let's move on to the right one actually so i'll save the radiant charizard one till last because i think that might have most of the pokemon in it so let's take a look, see what trainers we have in here. Now there is also Nanjimo, so this is the Iono card. Again, very sought after. I think a lot of shops are still paying good money to buy like the base cards for Nanjimo. So yeah, if you're trying to get rid of stuff, be not be careful, but be aware that you could make a bit of money off of these. Um, again, the whole point is not selling. The whole point is to build and play your own game. So there's Iono. There's a couple of those. There's also a Kibana. I can't remember his name. Uh, what was his name? Uh, anyway, there's that. There's also Sabody, so some kind of magician. <laughs> there's a Serena, very cool. I do like Serena a lot. We also have an Irida, so there's a cool Irida card as well, non-holographic. There's a Professor Alturo, no, Alsado. Turo is the other one, so he's probably there. There you go. So we have a Turo, very cool as well. We have a Gettis, so the boss's orders. So this is the Gettis boss's orders. Very cool. I like I like this card art. It's very nice. We also have a Mommy. Very cool. We have a double turbo energy. And then I'm guessing these are just energies, so I'm glad I went this way and not the other way. So there's fighting. There's also dark. And there's also steel. Okay. So a lot of energies in that one too. A lot of great trainer cards. But we do have one more of these decks to open up. By decks, I mean one of these uh, kind of like packages. So let's open this up and take a look. See, so we can get anything. Well, I say get anything good. See what is in here. <laughs> it's not like an opening. <laughs> we kind of know what's coming. All right. First off, we have Radiant Charizard. So this is the same Radiant Charizard that released in the V Star Universe. And interestingly, this does not have a texture. So I think this is a lot like the Western Radiant cards. So it's pretty cool. There's also a Greninja. So this is from quite a while back too. Again, very cool. There's also a non-holographic Luminion. So very nice. And it says down here like the number of card, like potential cards in here. So there's 38 possible cards. There's a Manaphy. Very nice. There is a Mew. 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 Very cool. There's a Routes, excellent. Memory Skip. Okay, very interesting tech. There's a Curlia, very nice. Very cool. There's a Bidoof, very cool. There is a Beaverell, I do like Beaverell as well. And there we have our rope. <laughs> this has been the bane of my channel for a long time. So many ropes. I st whoever actually watched like a long time ago when I opened up some of this guy streaming something we got loads of rope 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 oh there's a cancel cologne very cool i don't remember that it's been a long time since i've seen one of them there's a mystic ball and we're back to energy so grass energies followed by fire energies followed by water energies so yeah these are kind of cool basically these are just cards to build up your decks now give me one second to organize this and we'll take a look at some of the other cool content i can already see in here so I just pulled this out of the box and basically this shows you some cool ways to build out your deck. Basically what you could do with each of these different cards, which is kind of cool. So this is step one. Apparently there's three steps. So there's that. It's a nice little Charizard there. On the back, there is a step two. So you can build out your decks again with kind of cool cards from the set that just released. So like we've got packets of these over here and so on. And then there's step three, actually go and play. So this is how you build up a deck. So you could start off with just these cards that we just got right now in these three little things here and you could build up just any deck from zero what's also cool in here is there is a v-star token followed by some kind of dividers so you could they're just cardboard you could divide out sections in your thing if you wanted to i'm sure people will berate me if i don't open it so i will open it um the v-star token's cardboard but these are just different oh cool different patterns for your to divide up your cards inside the box so yeah it's pretty cool put that to one side and then i think this is everything because uh that's basically what it's advertising we have 10 packets of the kokuen no shihaisha unless there's anything under here which i don't think there is nope nothing else in there so uh yeah we will just put this to one side for now and we will get into opening up a couple of packets because i'm pretty sure that is one of the reasons why many of you here so we've got 10 packets because there's only 10 there's actually no guarantee that we can get anything amazing but there is still a chance so uh let's take a look see and see if we are lucky enough to get some fire pools we've already got some fire pools in this set but uh let's take a look anyway 
All right, here we go. Okay, first off, we have more wild. Very cool. We have a Finizen. Very cool. We got a Phantump. We've got a Swablu. Very nice. And we've got a Togekiss. The damage is still a bit rough on the edge on that card, but uh, yeah, not not as bad as the one we had before. And for those of you that don't know, in my full unboxing, I pulled the Poppy Super Art Rare. That was easily one of my chase cards. Now I'm chasing either the base Poppy or I want to get one of the Charizards because those look also super cool as well. All right, if it will focus, we have a Espeon. We have an Electric... Electric? Electros? Oh, wow. Whatever you're called. We have a Bunnels B. We also have a... Ah, oh, look at this. That's so cool. This Lechonka R, oh, I love this. Just look how adorable it looks. He's just like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. And we have a Togtricity. Okay. So our Storinda. The Japanese names and the English names are quite different often. So, yeah. Storinda, Togtricity. I think Togtricity is even cooler as a name. But uh, anyway. Right. Packet number three. These are going to go very, very quickly. All right, we have a King Gambit. Very cool. Very nice King Gambit. We also have a Cry... Oh, I can never remember what you're called. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to research because if I keep opening packets and I keep pulling this card, I'm going to have to find out. We also have... Oh, very nice Tadpole. This looks like it's one of the like Lantern Festivals kind of just being let off to go into the sky. Well, that's kind of upsetting, actually. There's, oh, very cool. There's a nose pass. Very cute art. This is our first time to pull this. And, oh, cool. We got a Glimora EX card. I don't think I'd pulled this card yet. Wow, that is very, very cool. Look at that. Very, very nice. I could see my face as well in the reflection. <laughs> All right. Okay, we got one hit. Very nice. Let's move on to our fourth packet. Now, these cards are probably a little bit easier to get now because the Pokemon Centers or the Pokemon Company, they said that they are going to try and produce a lot more cards after release date so that people can get their hands on them. So, uh, yeah, fingers crossed. If you're in Japan, you might be able to buy some packets. Who knows? All right, we have a Lunatone. Very cool. We Let me just actually change the focus. We have a Capsicid, so a single Capsicid. I don't know if we have this one, but very cool. We have a Tynemo. I remember the name now. We also have a Heatmore. Very cool. And we have another Claydol. I feel like I have three or four of these now. Originally, it looked really cool, the nice art, but now it's kind of just, yeah, it's there. All right, let's move into our next packet. I think this is packet number five. So this is halfway. So far, we haven't got any art rares or any kind of like super amazing cards. So uh, let's hope for this one. We have the amazing Bouncy Bellabolt. Very cool. I love this. He's just kind of... <laughs> We have Saitha! Very cool. We have an Inkay. We have a Rock Ruff. And we've got a Clod Sire. He really is a Clod. Like, such a Clod. <laughs> okay, next packet. Let's see if we can get anything amazing in this one. Fingers crossed we can. Let's hope. All right. So, top to the bottom and flip. All right, we have a Blossom. We have a Grievard. We have a Vroom. I don't know if we have this Vroom yet, but now we do. We have a Darumaka and we've got a Charmeleon. Why aren't you Charizard? <laughs> Charmeleon in an ice city. I didn't even realize that. That's kind of uh, upsetting. <laughs> Either he's staying warm there or keeping other people warm. Or he unfortunately got put there and they're trying to freeze him. Which would be dark, creepy and not very nice. Okay, let's take a look, see. First off, oh, Umbreon, very nice. We have a Shuckle. We have a Cleffer, so pee. We also have a Pawniard, and we have another Mawile. Okay, wow, we're really not doing very well on these pools. We only have, like, one Glimora. Maybe I shouldn't have opened this box. <laughs> All right, packet number eight. Let's see if we get any fire or energy magic in this one. Top to the bottom, and flip. Okay, first off, we have Oinkalone. Oinkalone, we have a... Not Bunnelsby. Diggersby? Not Bunnelsby. Bunnelsby, there you go. We also have a Timpole. So I was getting the name of this correct. We also have a Houndour and... Oh, very nice! Okay, we got a Palafin Art Rare. This is very cool. I haven't pulled this Art Rare yet, but this is just such a cool Art Rare card. Just look at this. There's Palafin here with all these Finizens coming off the side. That is super, super cool. Wow, okay, we actually got one nice Art Rare pool. Okay, we still got two packets left. So uh, let's see if we can get anything more. It would be nice if we could. 
Oh, uh, excellent. That's an RR I don't have yet. So I'm very, very happy to get that. That's, that's excellent. Oh, damn. Okay. Top to the bottom and flip. All right, we have Rhyme, we have Gloom, we have Zigzagoon, we have a Rockruff, and... Oh, okay, we actually got a Super Rare! We got the Super Rare Tyranitar! Oh, damn! Okay, you know what? That looks kind of cool. Very happy with that. It's very close to the Charizard because it's basically the same kind of type. Oh, damn, we actually got a Super Rare! That's so cool! Okay! Oh, look at that. I love that. And it's nicely textured too. Very, very cool. All right. Wow. <laughs> that was pretty damn good. All right. We've got one final packet left. Let's see if we can get anything amazing in this. I saw that someone actually got a super rare and a super art rare Charizard in the same damn box. So maybe we can be that lucky and we can be that person to also get the same. <laughs> that would be super cool. All right. We have a town department store. Excellent. We've got an Oddish. We have a Pidgey. We have a Vulpix. And okay, we got a Flamigo. All righty. All righty. Well, there you go. We actually got three nice hits. We got the super rare Tyranitar. Very cool. The lightning type Tyranitar. We also got the amazing art rare Palafin, which is also very cool as well. And we also got an EX Glamora. So yeah, we got some okay hits. But guys, that's everything for this deck build box. And if you are interested in getting one of these, I believe there is a lottery coming again for a second round of releases on the Pokemon Center Online. So I believe that's they're rumoring to start around August 8th. If you can get your hands on it, great. If not, keep looking around. They may have some in stock in shops somewhere. But there's a lot more stuff coming your way soon, guys. So stay tuned and I will see you very soon. Okay, bye bye. Bye. Oh, there you go. I wasn't expecting to pull a super rare. I mean, 10 packets out of 30. I mean, that's quite lucky. That's like a 33% chance. So, oh, very cool. All right, let's see what we get in some other openings. <laughs>